Hi everyone, my name is Christy and today I'm filming a video that I'm sorry this is taking me so long to get around to filming, but I'm very excited about it. I'm going to be showing you how I DIY'd my backdrop. So this is so easy and it's less than like $20 to get this entire backdrop set up. And so I'm going to show you exactly how to get your own backdrop very easily. And it all starts with getting some fabric. So I get my fabric from Joann Fabrics, but you can get it from any fabric store. I like Joann Fabrics because it's close to me and they have a big selection and they always have coupons. So that's my tip to you. Make sure you go onto the Joann Fabrics website, get a coupon. They usually have like 40% off one item. So there you can save money. But here I have my stack of different fabrics that I use or have used for backdrops before. And so what you have to do is get two yards of fabric. So I'm just gonna show you. So I like to get kind of tonal prints. I love the roses behind me, but I'm also gonna try out just a plain white backdrop. I've tried some shiny, colorful ones. I've tried sequins. I found that the shiny, sparkly ones reflect my lights a lot, so I don't really like that look. But the tonal prints, here's some more roses that have worked really nicely. And then just like a solid, this has sparkle to it, but the sparkle didn't really come across on camera as much as I hoped it would. I did try this one. This is a sparkly marble print that did not resonate too well in the backdrop. So that is the fun part of this. It's just trying out different backgrounds and figuring out what you like the look of and what your aesthetic is. I tend to find a backdrop that I like and then just keep it for a very long time until I start getting sick of it. And that's when I change it out. I don't really change it out at a certain time or occasion, but I've been really wanting to get around to filming this video and I'm very interested to see how just a plain white will look. So that's what I'm going to be using today. But so, after you bought two yards of fabric, the next thing to do is to iron out the fabric. So you can see when you get it, it has these wrinkles in it. So I'm gonna go and iron this. Okay, and now the next thing that you need is a garment rack. So this right here, as you can see behind me, I will link down below, but they range from like 10 to $15. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Amazon, and that's what I use to hang up the backdrop behind me. So I'm just going to hang it to my garment rack using duct tape. So I'm just going to hang the fabric the long way so that it's the two yards wide across the rack here and pulling it taut as I go and then duct taping it every couple inches. So I will show you how I do that. Okay, so now that I've hung up the fabric, this last step is the most important because you can't leave it just hanging straight down like this because it's not going to look smooth in the background. So the tip that I learned that is crucial is that you have to take the corners and you have to pull them out at a slight curve and angle. So what I do is I take this clip and I clip it onto whatever I can find that will hold it out at an angle. I know that this looks so funny and makeshift, how I've clipped it just to like my bed and my bag, but that is really what will smooth out the look of it. And here is the finished look with my new white background. So you can see it looks pretty smooth. 
I don't know right now if I like the look of it. I'm gonna have to wait and see how it looks when I'm editing this, but it's not as stark white on camera as it is in person and when I bought the fabric. And that's because it's a little bit thin, so it's a little bit translucent, and when the lights hit it, it really can change the look of fabrics. So I'll probably try this out for a little bit, then I might change it out again. But as you saw, it's so easy to just change out my backgrounds. And it's also so easy to just keep them. They stay in place, they don't fall off. I really don't need to touch it or adjust it once I get it in place. So let me know what you think of this background or what types of backgrounds you would like to see me use. But let's just recap because this was so easy and you really only need to follow a few steps. So first is get two yards of fabric. Make sure you use a coupon from Joanne Fabrics and then iron or steam the fabric and then attach it to your garment rack using duct tape. That's what I have found to be the most secure, easy method. And the garment racks, are only 10 to $15. The fabric is probably only five to $10, depending on what you get and if you use a coupon, if it's on sale. And then after you have duct taped it to the garment rack, the last step, the third step, which is very essential, is to clip out the sides so that you're getting kind of a curved angle to your fabric and that's what's going to really smooth it out and make it look like a backdrop and not just a piece of fabric hanging behind you. And so I hope that you found this helpful. That's the method that I figured out on my own to work best for me. And this was really fun to film. So if you have any other questions on YouTube or setups, anything like that, let me know because I love to film more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I upload a new video every day of me trying a new makeup product. So I will see you tomorrow in my next video.